request for facilitation. No. Page sixty-seven. Yes. It's request for something that is not visible. I think standing impressed or something. Yes, standing impressed. Go to page sixty-nine. Confirm that the number of the voucher appearing there is the same number of the voucher where an effort has been paid at page 27. Page 27? 69. The 69719 is the voucher number, but the voucher has not been signed by anyone at all. But they, it is the same number. It's the same. At page 72. Yes. Is a letter requesting the deputy governor again to be facilitated yes it is the deputy government traveling to nairobi japan embassy facilitate at yes. page 74 is a list of the people who are paid for on behalf of the deputy governor the list is there but not accompanied by their signatures mr mawira because i have less than three minutes when the deputy governor is traveling or the governor. They do not receive facilitation money in their accounts, do they? They do sometimes, other times they don't. The other times that they do not, their PAs and administrators receive that money for their travels and facilitation. Sorry? The other times where the money is not deposited in the governor or deputy governor's account is an instance where that money is deposited in the account of their PA or the administrator. Not necessarily it must be their PA or the administrator, but an officer designated. Mr. Mawira, you are lying to the Senate. Let me refer you to page 350 of our document. Of your document? Yes. You made a Facebook post clarifying who receives money for facilitation for and behalf of the governor and the deputy governor. Are you there? Yes, I can read the post. I do not want to read because we are pressed for time. You confirm that there is nothing wrong with the governor's PA receiving money for a facilitation for a valid trip. Is that what you state in that uh, Facebook? I did that, but I also wrote a condition that all that person whom money has been channeled through their accounts need to do his account and surrender for the sums of money they receive. Thank they you received. very much. And that takes me to my last question. You talked about prepayments. Yes. You also understand that offices are run through impressed. Yes. Impressed are money given to an officer yes. to utilize, and upon yes. utilizing, they account for the same. Yes. So there is nothing wrong if an officer receives money as long as they there account. There is something wrong if you get that money and do not account and surrender for the same. Thank you. Has there been any audit in respect of all the monies that were sent to the governor's PA or the deputy governor's PA? To confirm that no supporting documents were surrendered. You have not adduced, even though there was no audit, yourself you have not adduced enough evidence to show that that Honorable money was accounted Evans. for. Honorable Evans, it's not up to counsel to adduce any evidence. It is up to you. You brought your case here. You need to prove it. We have done that, uh, Honorable Speaker. Have you brought any audit report to suggest that those impressed were never surrendered with supporting documents. No audit report. Thank you. That's all for this witness, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Thank you. Now, counsel for the county assembly. You Do you need to do any re-examination or you're comfortable? If you have to do re-examination, you have 10 minutes. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, it will be done by my learning friend, Mr. Boniface Mawera, and he will stick to the 10 minutes. Honorable Speaker, my name is uh, Mr. Mawera Morero. Mr. Mawera? Yes, Council.
I'll start with the, with the very macabre video that was played by the, governors, by, the governor, by the governor. In that video, where we've seen a cow being slaughtered, can you see the deputy governor in that video? Or has a reference been made to the deputy governor in that video? He is not to be found. So can that video be attributed to the deputy governor? No. In your document, in your volume two, from page one, from page one to page twenty-nine, you have next a if miss extract. Yes. The if miss extract is specifically from page seventeen to twenty-nine. Correct. Yes, it is. The if miss extract is for the office of the governor. That is the title. Yes. And the payment, payment details are between 1st of July 2022 and 7th of July 2023. That is easier. Yes, it is. And it has a timestamp on the bottom left corner. It has a timestamp. On the bottom left corner. Of yes, which, it has. Yes, of it which is. specific page? It has, sorry. It has. It has. Yes. Has the governor produced an alternate if miss extract? An alternative if, if miss extract? None whatsoever. Are the, the IFMIS receipts that are next to the governor's response from page from page 105? You can turn with me when I will speak to page 105 of, of, the, of the governor's response. Are the IFMIS extract, the IFMIS payments, or rather they are called IFMIS receipts, that are next there, there too, are they extra? Just a minute, please. Okay. Can you just confirm at page 105? Yes. The if miss receipt that is provided by the governor. Does it have a timestamp? It doesn't have any timestamp. Does it does it say the office from which it, it emanates? It doesn't state. Does it state the duration? It doesn't. So which of these two if miss extract should we believe? The one with the timestamp and the duration. Okay. You've been referred by the Governor's Council to page 22 of, the, of uh, our volume 2. That is the IFMIS extract. The voter number... I believe 57562. You can see it? 57562. Yes. yes. You can see it? Yes. What is the amount? That is indicated on that voucher number? 84,000. Yes? Yes, 84,000. And I will speak a moment, I get to that page. That voter number is with respect to who? Or who, who was it issued to? Who was that voter number issued to? It was issued to Nefert Kenya. Nef to Nefert Kenya? Me, me. Yes. And the Governor's Council has referred you to page 51 of their volume 2, correct? Yes. In fact, it is page 54 of their volume 2, yes. correct? Yes. Where we see this trip that was made, that was made around between 7th to 9th of February 2023, 
correct? Yes. Now turn to our volume 2, page 22. That specific uh, voucher number 10. It is voucher number 6, it is voucher number 57562. Yes. Correct? Yes. Does the amount, because I can see the amount there is uh, 84,000. 84, Does it correspond with the amount that is on page 55? No, the amount on page 55 is 126,000. So there's an, there's an anomaly there? Yes, there's an anomaly. Okay. Turn to page 57. Has that voucher that is provided there been signed or examined by the relevant officers? It has not been signed by the relevant officers. You confirm it is still for, for Nefert Kenyo? Yes, it is for Nefert Kenyo. Is it, is it examined? No. Is it signed? No. Okay. Turn to the vouch, the, the, to page 58 of volume 2 of the governor's, of the governor's uh, index. I'm sorry, you're not a speaker. Page 58 of the governor's index. You've been referred to voucher number 66649. Yes. What is the difference between voucher number 66649 on page 58 and the one on page 57? The one on page 58 has been signed by the examiner. Yes. It has been signed by the accountant. Yes. It has been signed by the AIE holder. Yes. And it has been signed by the director of accounts. Yes. The one on page 58. Seven isn't signed by even a single officer. Okay. So those are glaring differences. Yes. And you we cannot say for a fact that the vouchers appearing on those two on those two separate pages have met all the specifications or all the requirements before the impress is released. Sorry, come again. You cannot say for a fact that the work that the, 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 the monies are represented by these two vouchers are regular because one is signed by, the, by, by all the required officers, the other one is not signed. I confirm. Okay. And you can confirm that the if Ms. Receipt that I've just shown to you that is annexed to the governor's response is just a MS Word table, a Microsoft Word table. Yes. No timestamp, no nothing. It is no system generated. Yes. It, has ju it is just a creation of computer. And the governor has not produced an alternative IFMIS extract? None whatsoever. Okay. Have you in the impeachment motion stated the numbers of the, count, uh, of the, the, the motor vehicle registration numbers of the county government vehicles that were in the Makiri rally at Anvil Island? No, I have not indicated the number. So you would agree then that the motor vehicle searches are not relevant because you've never, you've not made reference to a single motor vehicle registration number in the motion. They are not relevant in this case. Okay. Does the fact that you attended an Okolea rally provide a defense or sanitize the obvious irregularity or conflicting Okolea, which is a private charity with official government functions and programs? They can't. Does the fact, okay, not the fact, does the, the allegation that you supported 